Good morning, it's Brian at Fitzpatrick's Garage, Dublin Road, Kildare. I'll just show you the Honda Connect system that comes with um, all the cars from, two, well not all the cars, but from 2015, pretty much most specs of CRV and Civic come with a Honda Connect system, which is basically the radio. Um, so I'm just going to run through it here real quick. So this is a car that I have never connected a phone to for Wi-Fi or any of that kind of stuff before. So I'm just going to show you kind of what happens and just some of the basic functions. I have an iPhone, uh, if I had a Samsung or an Android uh, based phone, this would probably be a lot better. Um, but um, for the moment, it'll just give you a lot of the, the functions that you can use pretty easy. And uh, I mean, if you own one of these cars and you have this connect system, and sometimes we get people that come in, um, maybe not from locally, but they might trade in cars here, and there's so many features in their car that they've never used. So if you have a connect system, there's this, this will kind of show you some of the stuff that uh, perhaps maybe you haven't been shown yet. Um, or if you're considering buying one of these, um, I suppose it kind of shows you what's uh, what's available in the car. Um, so the first thing anyway is we would turn on the car. Um, so the connect system basically then, uh, you'll see the Honda logo here. I'm just gonna put on my glasses here now for a minute. Uh, so I can go through this a bit better. Um, just bear with me now while, I don't these lights while this uh, camera, okay. Right, so okay, that's grand. So we got the focus going. So basically, okay, change language, which is obvious we don't want to do that. And okay, we're going to go into that there. So this is the initial screen. Um, I'm going to use this home screen button up here for a sec. And uh, right, okay, so actually it comes with a screen protector along here. I'm just going to take it off for illustration purposes along here. It's grand, but after a while, you know, little air pockets get in it. So, you know, you probably would want to take it off your car. So the home screen starting off, this is the initial one that they have. Um, so, um, because this car is um, an ES Sport, so some models, depending which ones you're looking at, you'll have the, um, it'll have everything that I'm going to show you, except for navigation is going to be on some models. So, most Civics, most CRVs from 2015, not Accord, but the next Jazz probably will have it as well. Um, most specs are going to have this now, uh, so they are, but this, just because it's slightly higher spec up again, it's, it's got navigation, but everything else after that's going to be standard. Um, so, um, Right, navigation along here, which is a Garmin um, kind of setup. Um, so um, along here, usually your kind of home screen address, you know, very, very straightforward sort of stuff. Uh, categories, I've never used that before. So okay, yeah, restaurants and things like that. Back button along here, address, uh, where do we want to go? So that all looks pretty straightforward. Um, just um, type in where you want to go. After that then, restaurants, petrol stations, and yeah, okay, it follows around your finger. And then yeah, you swipe along here. Okay, that's cool. Uh, back. Um, and then just view the map and the map I presume uh, again now some of this is new to me so I'm just going through it here for a sec yeah, where do you want to go um, and then you can intercept uh, while you're actually uh, cruising I suppose you can um, map layers what's that I ah, okay so 3d 3d train okay that's pretty cool and then you can focus in and yep yeah, so um, it's pretty much as good as any Garmin I've seen uh, so it's 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 up to date um, after that then if you're in any of these kind of apps or anything like that, um, the home screen up here, uh, which is might or might not be hard to see, I'm going to turn the lights for this. So, home screen along here, that's always going to bring you back into the initial one again, okay? After that then, mobile phone. So at the moment then, uh, we'll get uh, this iPhone here, and we'll put in our code. And yes, we do want to... Uh, so it's telling me to put on my Bluetooth and that kind of stuff, so I'm going to go into... A settings menu on my phone uh, so again uh, if you're following this here Bluetooth is on at the moment I've got a couple of Honda HFTs already set up so it's after finding uh, my iPhone along here I want to turn off the lights here for a sec because just there's a terrible glare off them uh, so it's found my phone here so I'm going to select that um, and what's happening here then is Bluetooth pairing request so it's asking me so yes I do want to pair and I'm going to tell the car that it's okay and it's connecting and the pairing process was successful and away you go that's grand so after that then i can put down my phone just for a minute and we're in okay that's grand and it's asking me then do i want to allow the car to pull information about um you know my phone book and previous call history and all that kind of stuff as well so yes i do want to do that so you're going to hit the yes up here and that will proceed uh, after that then let's go back into our home menu again so uh, basically with this then, okay, we're going to go into our phone setting along here. And yeah, okay. One thing I find with these, there's, you know, and you've got a, a sub menu along here, so you can press that. And now it's giving me all my different uh, phone book options and things. So I go into my phone book, 
and it's importing the data and then after that I've got ABC DEF so let's find someone that's under G and then you know you can just flick down through there so it's pretty easy or go back into the D's and you know things like that so it's grand uh, if you want to make a call you just hit that there and away you go um, after that then I'm going to come back out of that uh, dial uh, it's going to bring me up a nice big 08684 whatever it is um, back again and then call history and you see all these different uh, people we've been talking to and how long we've been talking to redial and speed dial speed dial um, if you want you can create a voice tag for someone so let's put a new entry here uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to take someone from the phone book. You can manually put it in uh, from call history or we can go to the phone book. So let's kind of use the garage maybe or something like that. Now again, I know this video is super boring. It's probably more for people that maybe have this function already and they want to know how to use some of these items uh, in the car or, you know, if, if you can stick it, uh, it's just showing what it's, it's available um, and how you actually do it. So speed dial entry, which one would you like to? Yes, I do want to create a voice tag. Um, so it's going to record once I press this. Garage reception. Ooh. Garage reception. So that's been successfully done. We're going to go OK. And that's it. And this is telling me the garage reception along here. Uh, it's been created as a voice tag. And OK, that's perfect. So basically, if I'm driving along and I'm, say, for example, going back into this here. After the beep, say the name you would like to call. I'll do that now in a minute. So, just listening to some random radio station. Okay, so we got the radio on, and I say, okay, I want to call someone. So I'm going to use my button down here. After the beep, say the name you would like to call. Garage reception. Calling. Garage reception. And away you go, and it's going to call the garage here now. So, um, so this is what's happening here. Um, and I can just hang up along here or I can hang up over here as well so that's pretty much it I can transfer that I can mute the call um, so uh, coming back out of that uh, again and we're back into the radio I'm just gonna turn that down here for a sec Grant okay after that then let's go back out of that uh, back into the main menu so we're going to go into the phone menu and the sub menu of the phone there is an easier way to do this I'm going to show you in a sec anyway so but that's pretty much it okay so that's most of the features that are on the phone uh, after that going into my home menu again here information right okay so things like trip computer so current drive okay it's, it's going to give loads of like really rubbish sort of uh, things there at the moment because the um, cars never been driven like there's uh, eight my or eight kilometers or something like that so like it's got no history whatsoever uh but i got trip a and i got trip b but let's go into the sub menu uh, somebody's ringing me at the moment so we're going to have to uh call them back at some stage uh so i have to cancel that call and then we'll give them a call back in a while so um anyway so what's happening along here then is we can go into our menu and the menu down along here is saying trip computer, system device information, and we can change things like our clock and wallpaper and things like that as well. So if you want to, um, you know, just have the time reading out and the date and stuff like that, um, and then a different kind of um, wallpaper in the background. So uh, after that, let's go back. Trip computer, we've already been in. System device information. Uh, that's just basic information about the software and the chassis number of the car and things like that as well. Okay. So not stuff I don't really, really, really use too much. Um, the a half or sorry back and back into home a uh, long here is basically going to uh, allow you to work yeah okay i'll have to come back to that in a minute because we haven't set up the phone yet uh with wi-fi that is so audio is going to go into our radio so i can tune up and down the stations uh or i can seek along here looking for different stations i can press that button and go further in and then i've got all my presets and it's again a swipe kind of function as well uh, and back out of that then again um, and back out of that then into the home so this is the next thing I, I guess oh by the way this is a swipe screen so we can swipe across here and again you know as more apps come in here you're going to populate these areas this is the Honda App Store uh, I'll connect to the internet first we'll come back to that so uh, we're going to go into settings and we're going to set up um, the phone so you can surf the net so it's Bluetooth and Wi-Fi we're going to go up here to Wi-Fi we're going to grab the phone for a sec and Okay, let's see just why we do that. Um, okay, so we're going to go into settings and we are going to go into settings again and then back out of that and we're going to go into personal hotspot. If you have that on your phone, you'll see if you've got a Galaxy or anything else like that, you'll have the same. 
got a Wi-Fi password set up as password one. So I'm gonna look for a uh, Wi-Fi edit pairing code, Bluetooth device list, Wi-Fi, okay, that's fine. So Bluetooth Wi-Fi, Okay, we're going to turn it on, and right back out of that. Right, Wi-Fi device list. Uh, it's found my phone, so we're going to select my phone. We're going to want to connect to that. It's going to ask for a password, which is P A S S W O R D one. Uh, okay, you'll have a different one for yourself, obviously, but done. And it's going to connect to my phone. And basically, what's happening is, by the way, just um, you're actually you're going to, it's like using 3G on your phone or something like that. So what's going to happen is, uh, I'm in the garage at the moment, so I'm actually using the Wi-Fi. No, I'm not actually. I'm going to have to turn on my 3G on my phone. But once you have your like 3G on, on the phone, uh, what will happen is it's going to use that 3G. So it is costing you money. Um, it's quite useful. It only works when the car is actually stopped. But what you're doing is, like, I mean, every, lots of people use their phone now these days when they're out and about and that kind of stuff. Um, so let's turn on our 3G. So... 3G is now on, uh, which is fine. I'm going to have to go back in and scan this here. Again, I know this is probably extremely boring, but there is some people that might find this useful because they're trying to use these functions in their car. Uh, okay, done. So that's going to connect now because where I'm in the garage, actually the Wi-Fi is quite poor in this area. So at the moment, uh, you'll see at the top of your phone, personal hotspot is trying to set up. Uh, we're now connected, right? So that means now basically if you wanted to go start from the net on your phone Rather than doing that what you do is actually literally just go in and use the um, um, This seven inch screen along here. So down in the bottom corner We have all these different functions by the way widgets are going to be on the screen um, little kind of icons you can click into and stuff like that as well uh, which you can add as time goes and there's tons of them there, but um just going back into the app, obviously we have the radio function, uh, usually things like calculator, calendar, clock. What's kind of cool about it is actually there's another screen, but if you've got any reminders on the day, it'll actually come in and show you those. Um, I'm going to off these lights here because I think that kind of throws the whole thing. Um, anyway, various downloads, gallery, pictures, all that kind of stuff as well. So we're going to go into the browser for a sec, and um, that is going to show up Mr. McGoogle, and uh, that's fine. So we're into Google, and away you go. And say, for example, if we want to look at, like, say, I don't know, YouTube, right? Um, so I'm going to YouTube, and okay, in there. Um, and then after that, um, that'll go in. Security one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Problem security, security site. Uh, I don't believe that too much. So it is YouTube that we're going into. So that's okay. Uh, Continue, go back, go back, go back. Right, that's new, haven't seen that before. Um, unless we went into something different. YouTube. Right, and back into that again. Alright, um, anyway, what it's doing is it's going to go into the likes of YouTube, and then you should be able to, up here, perfect, let's go search for totally biased Honda Center Kildare which is us and that is going to find some of the videos that we have now we flick down through these come on view certificate that's okay continue and then right so I'm just going to go into Honda Center Kildare for a sec but rather than watch this video let's go to Honda Center Kildare and then look at one of our videos along here so um, it's got other videos, and then say, for example, uh, if we want to watch, oh, I don't know, uh, let's see, there you go, that's the video of the car that we're in, which we did yesterday, um, so that's going to pop up, and eventually then you can just watch that, that's in the middle of editing actually at the moment, so hopefully it'll come through, and that's it, and basically the video will work away itself, and you can watch that, and then you use the uh, guys along here just to control the volume same as you would it's just like the radio and away you go so it's pretty cool isn't it um so anyway that is it's so useful like and you can sit here now the only thing is 
Um, for example, you're watching that. The second you touch the handbrake, right, it's gone. Okay, so you've lost the screen basically and um, put up the handbrake again and it's back on again. So very, very cool. But I suppose one word of warning, it is using up your 3G and your data. Same as you would, it's not cost any extra, but just be aware of it. That's all because um, if you're sitting there waiting for a ferry or something like that and you spend an hour or two on it, I guess uh, your bill will know all about it. Um, so just bear that in mind. Uh, after that then, okay, we'll come back out of that, go back into the home screen, um, the AHA radio function along here. So there is tons and tons, oh yeah, okay. Whoops, I have totally forgotten this. Uh, I actually can't remember. What would happen is once you go into AHA, let's see. Um, okay, so we're going to just put in our email address here for a sec. Um, right, okay. Okay. Next, password. Uh, could be one of a variety of passwords, so... Uh, hopefully that's it. Um, of course you didn't. Uh, let's see here for a sec. Uh, right, okay, we're going to try one other password. Sorry about this, guys. I totally forgot we need a password to get in. And I actually set this up a couple of uh, days ago. Okay, we're in. Uh, right, we're going to go into AHA radio. And now what is happening is you've got digital radio. Um, so you can literally listen to anything from around the world. Um, so, you know, if you're into soccer, you got the Football Weekly. Like, it just keeps going and going and going. Real Madrid. Like, it just gives you an idea of really how much is there. And then we can swipe across. English, Dutch, French. Like... And yeah, I suppose it's like logging onto the internet, like it's, it's endless. There, there's so much radio you can listen to. Um, so again, um, AHA radio, yeah, perfect. Continues actually, so I put down the handbrake and there is no impact on it as well. So because, um, actually any, you can still continue to listen to audio, it's just the screen isn't going to work after that. So um, so that's it, that's pretty cool. Um, after that then, other settings in here are going to be things like the system overall, which actually I'll show you that in a sec. Uh, camera functions. Oh, yeah, by the way, which is pretty cool in the rear camera. Uh, okay, fixing dynamic guidelines, which means they move or they don't move. The camera, one thing I found out lately, uh, which I really should have known before that, we get a nice wide screen, or we get a normal flat kind of screen, or we get a zoom. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And then after that, uh, audio, various different functions, um, which you'd expect on any kind of radio. Uh, and then after that, back out of that, Bluetooth Wi Fi, we've already been in there, Android functions. Uh, okay, I need to put the handbrake for that. And basically, it's like you'd have on your tablet: Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, data usage, sound display. Like it's, it's basically everything that's in a tablet. So it is. Uh, it's probably the handiest way of looking at it. Um. So anyway, just to go back into that. One thing I would suggest on these at the moment is got 18 minutes. If you've if if you're still watching this, fair play to you at this stage because I know it's boring. Um. Oh, by the way, the app store then where well, we can get into that now. Uh, but there, it's it's going to take a bit of time before there's you know good apps that are useful. Um, if we get back out of this and we go into the settings and we go into the system function, this is one thing I'd recommend. Uh, okay, just things like beep and clock and wallpaper and all that kind of stuff you can do around there. I change the skin on it. Yes. Uh, okay. I change the skin on it. Uh, what it's going to do is, oh, I forgot about that, this takes a couple of seconds. Uh, what it's going to do is basically change the skin. Because the thing about it is, it's grand there, but what happens is, when you go into your home screen, you get all these icons along here, which is grand. And then you click into one of them, and it's, it's the main sort of menu that's in it. But you start off with one screen, and then it's got the different options. You go into a specific menu, so like your phone, or uh, settings, or um, Bluetooth, or whatever it is. And then there's sub menus within that um, and the problem with that is then you're going in main screen click the item you want and you're going sub menu then so you're pressing these two buttons i think what's kind of handier is this other skin that comes up uh skin by the way is just the kind of interface uh, that's that, that's on it uh why are you not focusing um but yeah this one's going to come up and what it'll do is it'll actually have your sub menus available pretty much straight away um so let's just see here for a sec um so Android is upgrading, but yeah, it's probably a little bit easier to use because instead of having to go menu, click, we're into a menu and then sub menu along here, we're going to have everything 
um, pretty much there. So let's say, for example, and this is kind of cool as well, you can hold this and drag it into place like you would on, like, you know, uh, I want to move that over there as well. You know, just create space on the screen. That's, it's very, very cool. Anyway, so now you've got your sub menu. So, phone, but you got your phone book, you've got your call history. Uh, so, you don't have to dig down into the, the sub menus. i uh, got my source or. Um, oh, yeah, okay, we're done. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So, we got my source, or I can go in here and go into. Yeah, source along there. I can go back um, and it'll just go straight into FM. It's just. It's so much easier to use, I think, because everything's right there, so you don't have to go drilling down into different menus. You have your main screen and then your little sub menus beside it as well. And again, same idea that swipes along there as well. So um, that is by no means, that's 20 minutes, right? That is 20 minutes and we go through that with most people. Well, not most people, everyone that likes their cars, but um, like there's way more. We could spend another 40 minutes at least going through. So that's just the radio. Some people are concerned about sometimes it can be a little bit, is it going to be too difficult to use? Like everyone gets used to it after a while is what i find but you can set it up in a way that if you literally just want to use it as a radio you get a one screen that we can go into let's say for example um okay let's turn on the radio right now what we're going to do is go into this along here right and we're going to set that there and then we're going to go further in and you can just have the radio like that that's it just my different uh, preset radio stations down along there so I'll have, you know, RT1, FM2, whatever it is along there. That's it. So every time you turn on and off the screen, that's what's going to come up. And there you go. There's a real basic radio. But, you know, if you can kind of learn about it, it's really, really useful. Um, anyway, we're going to have to... Sorry, it's ringing. Um, so what we'll do anyway is... Um, that's pretty much the end of it. We can go through much more stuff with you, but I hope that gives you an idea. I hope maybe if you've got the system, you might be after learning something that might be useful as well. Um, if you're learning and there's any information you want on these kind of cars or this kind of information, uh, we're Garage in Kildare, 045 uh, 5 Um Uh Brian's my name. If you come to the garage, ask for me, or if you want to give us a call, just ask for me as well. So thanks for taking time to watch, and uh, hopefully we'll chat to you soon. Thanks.